Hey, it's Joe from JoeColantonio.com, and in this video, I want to go over why I think API testing is so important and why the GUI is no longer king. Check it out. I've been involved with test automation for over 15 years, and in the beginning, pretty much all my testing automation efforts focused on a user interface like a thick client application, a browser, or even green screens for a mainframe. Now my time is split 50-50 between creating automated tests for UI and creating tests for APIs like REST services. There are a few reasons for this. The first one is agile practices, and the second is the Internet of Things. But first, if you don't believe me that API testing is becoming more and more important, if you go to Google Trends and do a search for GUI testing and compare that against a term like REST testing or API testing, notice how GUI testing is going down and REST testing and API testing are both trending upward. Now this is important because if you're a test automation engineer and you want to make sure that you're learning the latest technology, you're staying ahead of the curve, then API testing is something you should definitely check out and learn right away. So the first main reason why I think API testing is becoming more important is due to agile practices. With agile development becoming the standard in most organizations, the way we develop software and automate tests has changed dramatically. GUI tests that go against a user interface take too long to run. During certain agile practices like continuous builds, the amount of time it takes to receive feedback from a GUI regression test suite when new code is checked in is too long. In those cases, quicker feedback is essential. The sooner you can give feedback to a developer that the code they just checked in broke the build, the better off you're going to be. With GUI tests, it just takes way too long. Agile has also increased the frequency in which applications are released which in turn has created an increased demand for new ways to quickly test them. GUI tests are typically too slow to get the test coverage we need during, say, a typical two-week sprint. So not only would you have to test the new code that you developed within your sprint, but also you want to run your test suite to make sure all the previous functionality you have in your application still works. And if you're relying just on a GUI test suite, 100% GUI test, you're going to have an issue because it's going to take too long to run and if you've been doing test automation for any amount of time, you know that GUI testing is hard to do, hard to maintain, hard to make reliable. In his book, Agile Software Development Using Scrum, author Mike Cohen introduced the concept of a test pyramid. This image represents the complete opposite of the way most non-agile development teams perform automated tests. GUI testing is at the top of the pyramid and it represents the smallest piece of the total number of automation test types that should be created. I've seen some estimates that around 10% of your total automated test plan should be focused on the UI. The majority of your test, however, should be at the unit level and at the service layer. Now, unit testing makes up the largest piece of the pyramid. A unit test is created to verify a single unit of source code like a method. By doing this, developers can isolate the smallest testable piece of code. Unit tests are the easiest to create and yield the biggest bang for your buck. Since unit tests are written in the same language that an application is written in, developers should have an easier time adding them to the development process. The middle layer is what I call the sweet spot of the pyramid. This is where tools like SOAP UI, REST Assured, UFT API were created for. Service testing is also known as integration testing. Integration testing focuses on verifying that the interaction of many smaller components can integrate together without issues. Since API testing bypasses the user interface, they tend to be quicker and much more reliable than GUI tests. Also, with more developers creating API for their applications, we can go under the covers directly to that API that contains the business logic of our application and test directly against that API. This way, we can run multiple different tests, multiple different boundary tests against this API business logic to verify that the business logic is correct and then we might have one or two high-level end-to-end tests that go in and test the UI. But because basically the UI is consuming that API, that business logic, for the business logic type tests that we have, we can go directly to the API and, and bypass that user interface completely, which, like I said, is going to be more reliable and much more quicker. The second main reason why I think API testing is going to be so important going forward is the Internet of Things. Now, some of you may think this is a buzzword, but I really think that this is really about to take off. The Internet of Things is just everyday objects that have embedded functionality within them that allows them to talk over the web using HTTP or HTTPS to communicate with the remote backend server. Basically, more and more things will begin to have sensors embedded into them. 
The other day I saw a video on Jon Stewart where he was interviewing the author David Rose who wrote the book Enchanted Objects, Design, Human Desire, and the Internet of Things. He showed a medication glow cap that will tell you when to take your medicine by blinking or texting you so you don't forget. This is just one minor application, but I'm sure you can imagine the endless possibilities for this type of technology. Extend this trend outward. I've seen estimates that in 2020, there will be over 50 billion objects connected to the internet. So how do we test something, say, like a scale that tweets? A refrigerator that tells you when you're running low on milk. Or I know this sounds sci-fi, but say biosensors are bedded into your clothing that can measure your stress level and adjust your environment accordingly based on that information. None of these examples have a traditional user interface. So how do we test them? First, let's take a look at a typical API test flow. So I'm not sure how many of you have seen this, but there's actually some scales that communicate over the internet. So if you're trying to lose weight, you can kind of gamify this and maybe compete with five of your best friends to see who loses the most weight or the most body fat. So when you stand on the scale, it communicates over HTTP, HTTPS to a remote service, and it basically sends your weight and body fat to a remote server. The remote server then processes that information via probably an API service, some sort of business logic, and then it generates a response that sends it back using JSON or XML to your scale. So how would we test something like this? I will have a link of resources below this video to all the resources I think that can help you get started with API testing using an open source tool like SOAP UI or Rest Assured or even vendor-based applications like UFT API. So I hope I've convinced you that API testing is important and it's something you definitely want to start learning and getting involved with sooner rather than later. Hope it helps. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.